everyone. Welcome to the 10th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to Enscape. So this time we'll cover HDRI and skyboxes. You may start with the Enscape window itself or you can do a split window with your CAD software or Revit if you want. First off, HDRI is a component that overrides control settings that you can use to set up a sky. These are simple sky representation that uses a cube map texture. This component also enables you to update indirect lighting from the sky. HDR skyboxes are a great way for creating new effects on your Enscape scenes. To modify these options, simply go to this button right here and select the sky tab like so. We can also change our background into white or choose from a variety of sources in the drop down menu like here. We can choose desert, forest, sorry, I forgot to take this off. Again, desert, forest, or anything below. Currently, I was using white cubes. We can also play around with our cloud configuration like so on here, increase the density. As you can see, everything is updated real time or the variety. Now, if you want to go back to default settings, just simply click this button right here and it will go back to the way it was originally. But our focus will be the skybox source. First, we go back to this option and click this one here and click this button. Now, if you don't have any skybox files, check the description below for the download links. These are free. Now, take note of the file here. If I go and click this button right here, and just drag it a little bit over here, there we go. Now we've got the HDR file, and I also have something else here, but these are very generic, so I'd rather use these two over here. Now, let's give this a click and see the changes. If you have Skybox enabled, you will lose the capability to manipulate daytime with the shift and right click button. Instead, we can rotate the cube map we loaded like so with this button over here. Let me change my viewpoint. There we go. This should be better. Now, let's go back here. Go back to sky. If I rotate this like so, you will notice a change in the sun direction. And if I increase the brightness, you will see it a little bit better there. Now, we're, see we're actually now seeing the Eiffel Tower. We can also play around with the normalized average brightness with this one. And change the brightest point as sun direction. But I usually have this ticked on and this as well. And just change around the lux or the illumination as I see fit depending on the scene that I want. Now, let's give it a try and look for a better view. But I think this is actually the better one. There. Now, looks a little bit better, doesn't it? I know it might not look like much, but in the next scene, I'll be using a different model. Okay, now we get a new scene and a model taken from Revit generic models. So, first we take both this option on and look for the best view that we could use for us. Unfortunately, our foliage doesn't match the skybox that we have, so... Let's look for something else. This would be a good view. Or this one. Now, let's play around with the brightness illumination and look for the correct one. Or rather, the perfect scene for us. There we go. I think that's good. Okay, so for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you enjoyed or find this tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.